Everybody, Sam Strains here. Welcome back to the railway and welcome to yet another live stream. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend and at last we've got some gorgeous weather over here in the UK over this weekend. Um, obviously the gorgeous weather is gorgeous if you're outside, although up in this loft it's a bit like a tomb. So as soon as the sun comes out it gets red red hot up here. So fingers crossed it will be okay today. Um, if I do keel over on camera, um, please somebody that know me make the relevant phone calls. Um, just so that we don't lose me. But um, I'm sure that won't happen. It never has happened, so hopefully it will be okay. All right, so how's everyone doing? Thank you all so much for uh, turning up to yet another live stream. Actually, I was, I was working this out. Apparently, this is Sam's Trains Live, episode 29, and we've got AZ Rail. Thank you very much, he says. Evening all, hope it's a good stream. Thank you very much, AZ Rail. That was the uh, first mooing interruption of the night and keep them coming that's more than fine by me um so yeah as i was saying this is stream number 29 which means next week or not next week next stream will be a jubilee it will be stream number 30 i'm excluding all the extra streams i've done as well and daniel taylor here's a little gift for you sam and my entry for the competition and sweet intro. Well, thank you very much, Daniel Taylor. Thank you very, very much. And there we go, you popped up on the screen. So how's it going, everyone? Are you British, says Lisa, Lisa Symes. Yes, I am British, um, as you might be able to tell from the accent. 
Uh, thanks for donating, Daniel Taylor, says Mark. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very good, thank you, Ion Gunson. I hope you're okay as well. Uh, Bennett Stevens says, okay. Well, okay to you too. Richie Wilden, shout out, please. Uh, Abandony Hornby Bill. Ooh, what are you talking about? Uh, we'll have to see on the Hornby Bill. Or Ben, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna specify just yet. Do you remember me, Dustin? Yes, I remember you, Dustin. You've commented before, I think. Uh, Transport for Scotland. I'm very well, thank you. I hope you are as well. I, I hope so. Hope you're having a nice day. Uh, Jeremy Humphreys, thank you very much. Uh, I wouldn't call them amazing, but uh, I appreciate that you have. Thank you very much. Uh, Brandy Bot, shout out, please. Do you have a class 14? Are they the teddy bears? Uh, in which case, no, I don't sadly, but uh, they look very lovely. Uh, Bennett is in America. That's very cool. Greetings from the UK. Lavers 454. Hello to you too. Uh, hi Sam, what did you have for lunch? Says White Rooster. I had some slices of cold pizza, which was very nice. Uh, b -b 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 oh, Daniel Taylor again. Blimey. Thank you very much, Daniel. That's very, very kind of you. Cool. So thank you to everyone in the chat. If you want to shout out, uh, keep in there. Keep in the chat. Uh, next time I do shout outy bits and uh, you can you can definitely have one. But today I've got quite an, ep uh, an exciting episode for you. There's quite a lot to get through. So as you can see, oh, there's Daniel Taylor again. Thank you for that, Daniel. That was very, very generous of you. So, as you can see, I've got one or two bags, including paper bags, retro style. Um, so, there's going to be some train fare stuff to unbox. I'm also going to be building a kit. Um, not a sort. I don't think anyone's expecting this. Uh, it's not just a, an electronics kit or something like that. It is a model railways kit, but it's not something that you've ever seen before. Uh, let's see, I've got another Wish.com item to show you. Remember last time I showed you those really horrendous figures? Uh, well, I've been shopping on Wish.com again. And Lee Kerwin, thank you very, very much. Uh, the speakers are on loud today. I'm hoping uh, the levels aren't too much for you because that's almost just deafened me. But uh, no, that's all right. If it makes me jump, I guess that adds to the entertainment factor. Um, so yeah, what was I just saying? So, yes, I bought something else from Wish.com. I don't think it's going to be as laughably bad this time. Uh, I might be wrong because I've not had them out yet, but, uh, yeah, they do look better, which is a shame because I was hoping they'd be absolutely terrible, but they don't look too bad. And uh, what else have I got to do? Um, I think that's more or less it. Yeah, trying a kit, Wish.com, and train fares and things. So, yes, lots of exciting stuff to come. All right, so, first of all, I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to everybody that donated last week, or last episode, rather, during the live stream. And I'm going to give everyone a shout out but it is quite the list so uh, here we go someone someone record this because this is where I get my tongue completely tied up around my head and this is where I um, the heat doesn't help either so okay mental preparation over if that was mental preparation. So here we go. So massive, massive thanks to Lee Kerwin, Jason Biggs, Phil Jackson, Brendan UP1995, Any Name Gamer 12345, Dancing Turtle 96, Scuba Duba, William Town, Ugly Duckman, Long Sight, Logo Master 365, The Great Western Rail Fan, Sideways 66779, RWS, NWR12, Robert Osborne, Merlin 1077, Triple Seven even, Lee Kerwin, AZ Rail, Nova Blaze, Matavel, Train Dude 456, Earl and Fred, Colin Wikes, Model Railway Works, Duke of Rawson, Charles Curtis, Gwian, Reese Davis, mm -hmm. Train fan 101, thank you very much, whoever that was. I will take a look. SCXNS Rail fan, Logan R, Argon Music, Sir A.G. Finley Jr., Shining Time 4, Rob Arnold. And that was it. That was the list. Blimey. Uh, not a good activity in the heat, actually. But uh, it's certainly woken me up. So um, there we go. And I think it was Lee Kerwin, or was it Jack Clark? Well, thank you to Lee Kerwin. And Jack Clark, he says, I made the stream. Also, as a request, could you run your 50 and Deltic double heading your BR Blue into City Coaches? Also, a Class 50 review soon. Wow, that is quite the request. Well, thank you very much, Jack. I can certainly do that for you. And yes, the Class 50 is still on the list of engines to review, so I will be doing that at some point. All right, so to everyone that I've just read out, thank you so, so much for your support. As I say, um, just little donations like that really do make it possible for me to carry on doing what I love for a living, and for that I really can't thank you enough. Although I can thank you a little bit because uh, you're all entered, of course, for the Drummond 700 class, and that is this month's, well, this series of streams prize. I'm going to be giving this away in August, so there's only three streams left after this for you to enter. Everyone that entered last time is welcome to enter again, so if you want you can have up to five entries, one per episode. And as always, everybody that super chats this episode will be entered into this as well, wherever you are in the world. And to everyone that's already super chatted before I've said this, you'll all be entered as well. So, yep, that's the Hornby Drummond 700 class. It's brand new. It's going to have its little peak out. Oh, tender first. No, 
Got to have smoke box first. There we go. So really, really lovely models, and there will be a lucky winner for that. So good luck. Good luck to everyone that's already entered. And uh, yes, uh, keep the uh, keep the requests coming as well. I've got lots of requests to do. Uh, these are some left over from last week, and I'm going to get on to just a few of those um, in, a, in a moment. If you'd like to submit a request, all you have to do is send a super chat of £5 or more, or dollars, or euros, or whatever you like, um, and you get your request. Just include the loco you'd like to see. Oh, Reacher Holt has become a member. Welcome, welcome, and I uh, hope you enjoy being a member. Uh, so yeah, $5 or more, or whatever, and you get to pick any loco in my collection, and I will run it during a stream, and you get your little moment of fame. Uh, you get to see it run and know that you've made that happen. And of course, everybody that does send in a request uh, does get entered for the lovely Drummond 700 class competition as well. So once again, good luck to everyone who does that. A quick shout out to Miles Fairfield, who sadly missed out on the Great Central Model Exhibition last week because of a back operation. Um, he's, not, he's not gone into the details with me, but obviously any sort of back operation is quite a nasty thing. So uh, Miles, I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope everything went well and that you're feeling a lot better. And also a quick shout out to his little uni Kit Kat as well, who apparently likes to watch the stream. So hello to you both and I hope you're doing really well. Um, also massive thank you to my mods who I don't always, I said mods weird there, mods I meant to say, not mods, um, who I never, well I sometimes forget to thank but I shouldn't. So that's uh, Mark Horner of course and the Ugly Duck Man. Thank you very much to you. Oh, Bobby, the MLP and Thomas fan has also become a member. Wow, welcome. Couple of members today. Don't forget to check the community tab. There's all sorts of behind the scenes content and exclusive streams and you also get your early access, of course. So don't forget to check those out. All right, well, I think that's about it. So let's get on to some running then. Let's get some engines started, shall we? Uh, that's what these streams are all about. So as you can see, a really, well, oh, Daniel Taylor. 99 cents through Super Chat. Thank you once again, Daniel. You're being crazy generous today. Um, definitely Super Chatter of the week, I would say. So, yeah, I was going to say it's a Motley collection of <laughs> different things set up to run, but I don't think Motley is the word because uh, that's quite a negative thing. But no, this is a really cool selection. So, on the outside line there, we have a request from Logan R from last week, and that was to see Oliver and Duck doubleheading with a passenger train uh, with Toad on the back. So, I've done that. Uh, then we have on the middle line CSX and S rail fans request to see the prairie with a goods train. So I've picked a prairie. I don't think he specified which prairie, but I've gone with the small prairie. And then Argon Music wanted to see the Western, the Heldron Western that is, with a goods train plus a Queen Mary brake van. And I have duly set all that up. So thank you so much, you guys, for your requests. I'm shot, sorry I didn't get a chance to run them last week, but uh, as always, if I don't get time to run them in the stream they are sent, they get uh, fast tracked to the start of the next stream. And I don't think I've ever missed anybody, although obviously if I do, get in touch and that's absolutely fine. But uh, these aren't all, by the way, there are still more from last week. In fact, I, I had. A crazy amount last week I don't think we're going to be able to beat that um, but uh, yes thank you all very very much now I've just missed one I think it was Logan R oh okay my BRT9 Greyhound wheels recently started jamming when going at slow speeds any advice on how to fix this oh what have I done oops <laughs> wrong button sorry about that folks you just got to see my lovely broadcasting software um, well it can be a Mazak rot issue, unfortunately, with the Drummond 700 class. Uh, no, with the T9s, not the Drummond 700 class, I shouldn't say that. Um, so the only thing to do is to take off the body and have a look underneath the shell and find out what's going on. And hopefully there will be nothing wrong with the chassis, but you can, you can never guarantee it, unfortunately, especially if it's a slightly older one. And don't, uh, other owners of the T9s, don't panic. It's only the older ones that have the problem. If you bought it over the last few years, it should be okay. Oh, William Town, thank you so much. He says, I don't have much money to donate with. Oh, well, then you shouldn't donate at all. Um, seriously, any, anybody that's thinking of donating, please don't feel that you have to. Uh, just you being here to watch the streams is, uh, is more than enough support, to be honest. Um, but equally, you know, I, I do appreciate the donations, obviously. I do seriously appreciate them. And uh, obviously, uh, it's all free of charge to watch. I will never charge anybody to, to watch these videos and streams and things. So... Uh, yeah, don't feel bad about that. But again, if you just want to, if you feel you want to support, then that's absolutely fine. And wow, welcome, the Texas Train Master. That sounds very, very similar to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is that intentional? I, I assume so. And Lykeos Felon. <laughs> what a name. But I like it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not criticising. He says, I missed his 
I missed his message now. It was something about, keep it up, there we go. Keep it up, put this towards a desired model. Oh, thank you very, very much. I certainly will. And Harry Chapman as well has just popped up. Hey, Sam, can you run an 8F and 7F double head in a freight train, please? Yes, I certainly can, and what a good idea that is as well. Wow, we've got lots of cool requests to do. Oh, and there's Toad. <laughs> Hello. Are you enjoying this, then? Let's uh, see if we can get another shot of that western, shall we? Just creeping past underneath. Or in fact, change of plan, we have the Great Western double headers arriving back, so I better bring those to a stop before they uh, embark on another lap around the layout. Did you enjoy that, Duck and Oliver? Can anyone remember? Have I ever run Duck and Oliver bef uh, together before in a double header? I feel as though I must have done. That's quite an, an obvious choice, isn't it? But I can't remember. Not that I can remember very much. I don't think they've ever double headed with Toad, so. Uh, at least that's a first. Yes, a, a nice, quite a nice triple header there. Uh, so once again, thank you very, very much for those requests. I always love running requests, and there are loads more to do. And James Carruthers, welcome. Welcome to the membership program. Actually, you've only just missed the exclusive live stream for this month. Uh, however, do check back, and you should be able to access it. If you can't, drop me an email, and I will I'll send it to you. Okay, so... Shall we get on to the task at hand then? I'll tell you what, I'm going to move this out the way because it's perched on the edge and I can just see myself whacking it like that and sending it flying. It would be ex excellent for the stream, I, I don't deny. It would be pretty entertaining, but um, not great for the winner, I feel, if it arrived and it had been thrown across the room. And there would be no way for me to pretend it hadn't happened either. So, yeah, definitely don't want to do that. Okay, so let me explain then um, what I've done with the train fair. So I've been to two train fairs, which is really, really bad, but I was on holiday for, the, for one a few months ago. So it has been a long while. Uh, so what I've done is I've put everything together from the two train fairs that I went to. Uh, one was a local one, and the other one was the Great Central Model Railway Exhibition, uh, which was amazing, by the way. And thank you so, so much to everyone that came to say hello to me there. Um, it, was, it was quite crazy, actually, to meet so many of you. So that was great. And if you're one of the people that did come up to say hi, thank you very, very much. Uh, JJ Surtees is one who sent me an email. And uh, if you want to see more of the Great Central Exhibition and you weren't there, check the Hattons Model Railways YouTube channel because they do have a video that me and Jack filmed while we were there. Uh, so that was one of them. And thank you, TrainFan95. Can you run a Deltic, please? If you don't have one, then another BR Diesel. No, no, I, I do have a Deltic, so I can certainly do that. And thank you very, very much. Is that you? Was that you, Train Fan? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> so thank you very much for that. Yes, I'll certainly get onto that. So I put everything together from those two trips and I've divided it into two. So you're getting half of it here on this uh, stream and the other half I'm going to film into an actual just train fair unboxings video just like I used to all those years ago because I miss doing those. And uh, the fact that I've been to two train fairs in close proximity to each other means that I can finally do that. So mm. it should be good. It should be good. Right. What do you reckon then? Shall we do some of this? Let's have a look at the wagons first, shall we? Uh, yes, I think so. So, a bag of wagons. Here we go. I forget now how much I paid for some of these, but uh, they range, they range. Okay. Man, I hate seeing wagons chucked into a box like this. Ah, are you ready? You're not going to believe it. Well, of course you're going to believe it because I've got hundreds of them. Yes, it's been, a, I'll, I'll give it that, it's been a long while, it's been a good six months I reckon since I last bought an ocean wagon, but uh, I'm even going to show you up close. Oceany, oh, out of focusy, hang on, there we go, it's an ocean wagon, hooray! And uh, as you might know, you might not I suppose, but uh, yeah, I for some bizarre reason, I don't know why, there's, there isn't a good reason really, but uh, for... Well, there is. I, I found loads of them once. And uh, every time I've seen one since, I've bought one with the idea of making an absolute colossal rake. So, yeah, I always buy ocean wagons. Uh, it's weird, I know, but uh, I like having big rakes of things. Oh, Phil Jackson. Oh, Phil is very kind. Uh, thank you very much for that. This is for the suggestion that I mentioned in the members stream. What suggestion was that, Phil? I will have to look that up. Uh, but thank you so much for your support, Phil. Uh, you're a member as well, so uh, that's crazily uh, generous. Thank you, thank you, Phil. And um, if I don't, if my memory fails me and I can't remember what your suggestion was, do let me know via email, and then I won't miss it. And I can do it for next time. But uh, either way, thank you, Phil. Appreciate it. So. Here's quite a nice one. I think this was part of a, what was it, three for £10. So we're talking £3 each for this. It is a Scarwood wagon. There it is. Uh, Cole Longwood Society Limited. <laughs> 
Very nice. So, yeah, quite a nice wagon there. Similar sort of thing, really, to the Ocean Wagon, but, of course, a completely different livery on that. So, yes, and it's not one I've owned before, I don't think, so I, uh, I picked that up. Now, I think this is one that I might have owned before. So, this is a Plain Colliery Company Limited, Bannockburn. Let me show you this. There it is. It's quite nice, this one, because it's got a load in it, yeah, as you can see. Now, I think if you look over there in the background, can you see, um, just next to the water tower, I've actually got another one of these, but I don't think it's got any couplings or any wheels. So I've actually had one for a long while, but I've never been able to run one because it's just like a, a carcass of a, a piece of rolling stock. So at long last, I've got one that I can run, and someone has put a, a coal load in. So that's that's pretty cool. I think that was part of the three quid deal as well. Uh, now, here's another one, Persil, for everything washable. So it's a wash powder wagon. There we go. I'll show you up close as well. So I like that. I didn't realise it was Persil, obviously, until I saw Persil on the side. To start with, I just saw this lovely sort of green livery and thought, ooh, that looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, almost too nice for washing up powder, or, yeah, washing powder, whatever it is. <laughs> Not that I have much to do with that, that sort of thing, as I'm sure you can guess. Um, but it's a, it's a mainline one, yep, yeah, as you can see, no metal wheels or anything, but it has got the quite nice... Also quite complicated couplings on them, which the a lot of the Backman, Thomas and Friends uh, wagons and rolling stock and engines do have. So that's cool. Uh, this is another one. I, I seem to recall having one of these before, actually. It's Evans and Beaven uh, Neath. Now, I've never heard of this company before. Have any of you guys? Um, it's got love hearts on the side, so it might be another... Well, I don't want to say women's product, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not very nice, is it? But it might be, or either that... See, the other thing about me is that I am quite ignorant, so it might well be something that everybody's heard of except me. Uh, that does happen quite a bit. Uh, but metal wheels, yes, modern metal wheels on that one, which I really liked. But not them couplings, but that's fair enough. Don't need to say any more about that. Uh, metal wheels on this one, I think the other one did. Yeah, yeah, the other one did as well. So that's plus two to the Ocean Wagon uh, Rake, uh, which is pretty cool. Don't know where I'm going to put them because my Ocean Wagon drawer is pretty full, but uh, I've forgotten there was a third. Three Ocean Wagons. Now it's going to be a serious problem. I'm going to have to create an Ocean Wagon, I don't know, office block to store them all in or something. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yes, there was another Scarwood as well. There we go. So... For some reason, I think I think these were from the same place. This must have been the third of the three for ten pounds. Uh, yep, I saw two of those. This one strangely hasn't got the uh, metal wheels though. I think this one did, didn't it? Oh no, no, that must have been a different one. Yeah, they've both got the same sort of plastic wheels on, so that's all right. Uh, Connolly five hundred, the Fox. Ooh, I've never had a Fox send a super chat before. He said, "Could you do a triple header with the C one, H one, and N seven with a really long freight train?" Wow, what an idea! Yes, I could certainly do that provided my controllers don't blow up. So stay in tune, stay tuned for that. But thank you, Conley. That's very, very kind of you. And yes, I hope you and your Fox family enjoy seeing that. All right, here's one that you might like. It's a troublesome truck. And this one was cheap as well. This only cost me, I think, three pounds once again. Um, and it's got the metal wheels. As you can see, metal wheels. And of course, the troublesome face. And I'm going to terrify you all now by shoving it in the camera. <laughs> I don't know if I recognise that one. I have got two Hornby Troublesome trucks already, but I don't recall them having a face like that. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, Sammy, you should build a dedicated siding for the ocean wagons and call it the beach. Wow, well, that's a good idea. Yes, I wonder where that would go. It would have to be quite the long siding because I reckon that must be well over 20 ocean wagons now. But yeah, I should do something like that. Um, maybe an ocean wagon video would be something fun to do. Okay, here's one that I have had before, but I quite like them because of the nice green colour. So that's a 7-Up wagon. I'm sure there are plenty of 7-Up fans out there. That is one that I've heard of, although I don't I don't usually partake. But uh, yes, it's at least one that I'm familiar with. So few, I'm sure you're thinking. And then two more. We have this. This is quite an old one. This is a Hornby wagon, but it's a sort of X-trying one, I think. But I've not got any plain brown ones like this, I don't think. So that one's quite nice. And then last but not least, yet another one that I've had before, Fine Fish. Is there any other kind? Let me show you that. I quite like this as well, because it's a lovely sort of 
sky blue colour, which is very, very nice. Oh, look, he's obviously been gaming. He's got some XP there. Uh, oh, that's where everybody face palms, isn't it? But uh, no, yes, very nice, very nice. And I don't know how many of these I've got. Maybe one or two, but uh, Henry will be pleased, won't he? Because he gets his, uh, his flying kipper. Dancing Turtle 96, thank you so much for that. Um, hi Sam, made it a bit late today. If you get time, can you run Bankman Thomas with a long train of ocean, ocean, was it ocean or open wagons? I just disappeared. Open wagons. Well, I can certainly try. Thomas doesn't like long trains, but uh, well, you paid for it, so tough. he'll have to try, won't he? Uh, well, we'll try. If he wheel slips, um, he'll be embarrassed. So there's a good incentive there for Thomas to, to manage them all. So what do you reckon to those then? Do you like those? There are more things to show. The Ugly Duck Man says he prefers Sprite. <coughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure Sprite is equally popular as well. I don't think I've ever seen a Sprite. Oh, I have. I think there is. Is there a Hornby Sprite wagon or have I completely dreamt that? I might have dreamt that, but uh, yeah, I, I think so. I think there is. It's orange, funnily enough. <laughs> uh, Sam says, Zach plays Fortnite. Well, hello, Zach. Hope, you, hope you're doing all right. Iron Brew, says the Ugly Duck Man. Oh, yes, I don't, I've, I'm pretty sure there isn't an Iron Brew wagon, but I might I might be wrong. Olga Faguendes says, hi. Uh, Sam, can you run Gordon with some express coaches, please? Everybody wants to see Gordon run with express coaches. I might have to make an exception and do that. Um, very cool. Shout out, please, says Lewis Crafter. There you go. And I prefer Coke, says Spring Gamer 626 Well, that, if you like Coke, uh, and specifically Coke wagons, you might be in luck this year, because Hornby are bringing out a whole range of them, aren't they? So that's, that's going to be cool. Okay, so here's, here's one for you. Guesses as to what is in the mystery paper bag. No, it's not a pair, although it does look like it came from the groceries. We'll get to that one in just a second. All right, so... Here's one. Now, I did some, you might have noticed this, but I did some crafty photoshopping in the title of this stream on the, well, on the thumbnail. So, I wonder if anybody actually figured out that's what this was. It was badly photoshopped, so I'm sure some will have guessed. But it is this. It is an LMS Fowler 4P. Oh, wow. Michael John Kelly donated through Super Chat. Hello, I really enjoy double heading steamers on long coal trains. Could you run your Ivert Class 4? And it's just disappeared off the bottom, so I will try and get it. Um, your Ivat 4MT, and I believe you have a Class 2 with as many ocean wagons as you're comfortable with. As many as I'm comfortable with. Blimey. Might have to try the whole lot then. We'll have to see how much time there is. And also, DQ NZC. Hey Sam, will you be able to do an American triple header with the Ocean of Ocean Wagons? I might or I might not because obviously they don't have the American couplings on them and I don't know if I have three American locos with front couplings either but I will try and do something similar. Thank you very very much to you both for the support anyway. So this was a real bargain. This cost £45. Now, I've got one of these already, but it's uh, got an old chassis on it. It's quite an old one. Uh, this is the modern, super detailed one with a nice modern chassis on it. Now, I say nice. It ain't that nice because for £45, I thought, you know, this thing is going to have issues, isn't it? Probably. Uh, Michael Whaley, thank you very, very much. Could you please double head the C1 and the H1 pulling a lot of teak coaches? There have been lots and lots of requests to see the uh, two Atlantics double head. Uh, so yes, I will certainly do that. Uh, very good idea and thank you for the support. So yeah, this guy was selling his own collection. This was at the Great Central, so you might have seen him if you were there. Uh, he was selling them off very, very cheap, but a couple of them I opened the boxes and they looked a bit dubious. Uh, but this one looked absolutely fine. So for 45 quid, I thought, you know what? Yes, I'm going to pick this up. I might have to do some work on it when I get home, but, uh, you know, for that cheap price, I'm willing to do it. Well, I took the thing apart and unfortunately, yes, there was a serious problem. It was a split gear on the, uh, on the driving axle. <laughs> I'm pointing to it, I don't know why. Um, so the loco was a non-runner. However, I went into my box. I'll show you this box because it's a bit, uh, it's a bit like um, the rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland. Um, you go into it and you never know what you're going to find. In fact, here's the noise it makes. So that should tell you all you need to know. And I'm not going to open it because literally stuff will burst out. But this is my parts box. Every time something drops off a loco or every time I scrap a loco for parts, it goes in here and I've got about three of these. Hang on, I ain't lying. Here's another one. <laughs> so yeah, it all goes into there and amazingly I managed to find a perfect set of gears which hadn't split and so I put them into the loco and they work. It now works absolutely fine. So I'm really pleased with that. I thought, you know, I'm going to have to just scrap this for parts but amazingly um, I was able to fix it and of course it's a horrendous job. One of the worst jobs. You've actually got to take 
all of the valve gear off, the linkage rods, you've got to take the wheel off the axle so that you can get the gears on and off. And then of course you've got to assemble it all correctly again and quarter the, the wheel set as well. So, oof, a nightmare. But I did it surprisingly quick. It, I, it, was, it was a work of about half an hour. It was unbelievably quick, but uh, it went well. I was expecting to have to re-quarter it several times, but somehow somehow it just, uh, it just worked. And uh, I was very lucky because um, I'm not that skilled to be honest. So I did get lucky, that's for sure. It's a Mike, Ellen Brooks. Is there a character called Mike? Yeah, it might be. Um, is there a 4P Thomas and Friends character? There possibly might be. I'll have to look that up. Um, you all got Oreos in there. Oreos. I wish I did. I wish I did. But I think with the microphone being here, if I started eating Oreos, I think people would leave the stream quite swiftly. So that wouldn't be good. Sam Strange, the double O gauge, Dr. Beeching. Well, you see, Dr. Beeching made um, cuts unnecessarily, but... I don't, I don't. I only scrap stuff if it's absolutely beyond repair. Um, free giveaways, yes, we do, Roan. <laughs> well, it is free, it is free, sort of. <laughs> if you send a super chat, I guess, whatever. Fiesta from Argentina, very cool, Olga. Uh, I don't think I've had any Argentinian comments before, or not, at least not one saying that they're Argentinian, I don't know. FNA Freddy Maker, hi Sam, how are you? I'm very good, thanks, how are you? And Mangle is here as well, hello Mangle. Uh, Mangle gets quite cross if I, miss, um, if I miss his or her comments, so I haven't done that today. Uh, I love your vid, says Larry Grant, that's very kind Larry, thank you very much. Uh, Dylan Duck, oh he's guest, he says let's see Bill. Well, the question is, is it Bill or Ben? I don't know the answer, I've forgotten, but... <laughs> uh, it is Bill, it is Bill, well done. So. You might not realise what is making me laugh about this right now, uh, but I saw this at the train fair. It was £22, so let me know in the chat, was that a good deal or was it not? I'm not sure. It was £22, it didn't have a box, and it was actually covered in splatters of paint, which I've actually been able to get off. But I saw it, and I think the woman at the train fair stand must have thought that I was a weirdo. I mean, more weird than, than most people at these sorts of places. <laughs> uh, because I sort of couldn't help myself. I actually laughed um, when I saw it, um, which was embarrassing. But uh, I just thought, you know, I've got to have it. Now, why is it funny? Well, the reason is, let me go and get one of the Backman ones. The reason is, the size. <laughs> now, it looks like... 10 times the size that it should be for Bill, for Bill or Ben. It really is colossal. Look. Look at the size difference. In fact, they look, they look exactly the same on camera. Oh, that's it. But yeah, for some reason, it just looks super duper chunky. Look at the size of the, the wheels on it. Yeah. It actually doesn't look that ludicrous on camera, but it, it did in real life. Yeah, you can sort of see. It's just, he's absolutely huge. So I thought, there isn't a Ben. It's only Bill on his own, but, uh, well, that's Ben, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I bought it for 22 quid just because the size of it uh, made me laugh. Yeah, there's no way it should be that huge. But, you know, the funny thing about it is the chassis that it runs on, so the wheels and motor, it's not the standard 040 chassis. In fact, it was a really decent chassis. It's got full proper metal bearings in it. Um, it's got a proper set of gears. Uh, it's not just a worm drive coming out of the motor, going straight to the wheel set. Look, there's no worm sticking out the bottom. It's a completely proprietary chassis that I've not seen on any other model other than Bill. So, yeah, it's really unbelievable. And there's Ben. Tiny Ben next to him. Now, I've missed some super chats here, haven't I? So, Pirret012. Hi, Sam. I'm getting my first model train set in July for my birthday. I'm so excited. Thank you for making an awesome channel and being an inspiration. Oh, that's really lovely. Uh, thank you, Pirret, and I hope all goes well for your birthday. In fact, uh, let us know the date of your birthday, and if I'm streaming anywhere around there, I can certainly give you a shout-out. And the Ugly Duckman as well. For an entry and a chance to see the Bankman 1F with the new Terrier heading... Sorry, double heading, I guess. Uh, Maroon Mark 1s. That's a great idea. Thank you very much, Duckman. You did threaten you were going to do that. So, yes, I can certainly do that. Okay, so let's finish off these unboxings then. And then I will go for a break and we will set up the next lot of requests. So, here's one for you. It's another engine. It is this. Now, I'm going to read it out because I don't really know what it is. 
that's bad, isn't it? So it's item number 51101. It's HO, so American. It's a 440 and tender Union Pacific, and it's number 119. So it was priced at 50 quid, and I knocked her down to 45. Which, well, I didn't knock her down. I just said, is that your best price? I, there was no violence involved, I promise. And yeah, I bought it for 45 quid. I used to own a Jupiter, but sadly, its motor gave out. So uh, I bought this. It's not the nicest of runners in the world, but just look at the old worldy sort of... Ooh. Oh, wow. That must have been quite scary jumping onto your screen. Sorry about that. But yeah, I just love the old timey look to this. Let me show you. Uh, you've got to love it, haven't you? And it is at least a Backman one, and the motor in it is slightly better than the, the old Airfix ones. So at least we've got that. We've got that. Mm. So there we go. Okay, shall we finish this off then? I'm sorry if I'm starting to rush here. It's just I've got quite a lot of requests to do now, haven't I? Um, so... Shall we do some unboxings? What do you reckon? Let's get this out. So this is a Southern Railway Composite Coach. I actually bought two of these to make up my rake of Southern Coaches. In fact, I've got, I think, um, far too many Southern Coaches. I probably didn't need to buy these, but uh, for £9.50, uh, I thought, why not? And actually, I said, is that your best price? And he didn't even, he didn't even knock it down at all. But uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, they are boxed, I suppose, which makes them pretty good. And look at the, look at the condition. In fact, if I show you up close, uh, you can see what nice condition they're in. And in fact, in the hands, they feel sort of, they, they feel completely smooth. <laughs> it's a really strange, almost sticky, they feel, because they're so brand new. So it's almost like no one's had their hands on them before. It really is that new. And I've noticed this bogey's the wrong way. And there we go. So yeah, very, very pleased with that for £10. And uh, yeah, as I say, it looks like it was only made yesterday. It really does look that good. And then there's another one. There we go, which I'll probably leave inside there. You'll notice neither of them are brakes because I've already got a couple of brakes to uh, to match that rake. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching that. Uh, I'm going to go for a quick break now, just five minutes. Well, it's a break for you. It's definitely not going to be a break for me. I'm going to be uh, rushing to get the next lot of requests going. So thank you very, very much to all of the Super Chats. Um, it's been amazing today. In fact, we might beat next uh, last week's or last streams. I'm not 100% sure. But if we do, thank you so much for your support. Um, we'll be getting to, all, to you all later on. I'll be giving you more shout outs later on. Uh, keep them coming. Keep the requests running. We'll see how many we can do today. It should be fun. And of course, you are all entered for the... Where, about, where did I put it? I've lost a Drummond 700 class. That's it. The competition's over. It's all over. No, I've spotted it. Here it is. There it is. So you're all entered to win that. And uh, thank you once again very much for the support. So I'm going to go and take all of these guys off the track. And I'll be back in just a second. And uh, let's do some more requests. All right. Back in five. I hope I will be. Hopefully. If I don't pass out or die. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, okay, I am back. Now, it didn't take as long as I was uh, expecting it to because actually I did know that some of these were coming, so well, I got them set up earlier on. But typical, the Helgen uh, Western, the body came off when I was trying to lift it and it knocked some wagons off. So, <laughs> yes, that was a little bit unfortunate, but I luckily managed to sort it all out and nothing got broken, so that was that. It didn't fall far, it fell about this far so uh, unfortunately not far enough to break it but uh, no actually I do quite like that engine so I wouldn't want anything to happen to it so a massive massive thank you to everyone that has supported so far with super chats uh, yeah it's a bit mind-blowing actually um, yeah thank you all so so much for your uh, kind donations I'm just going to run through them now and make sure that I didn't miss anybody because for a second there, they were coming pretty thick and fast. So Shining Time 4 actually sent in a donation before the stream began. So there we go. He wanted to see a double header of my GNR Atlantic and the H1 Atlantic with some blood and custard coaches. So I will certainly do that for you. In fact, they're going to get a good run, a good uh, workout today, aren't they? Oh, there's another one. Uh, Colin Wikes. Oh, Colin, thank you so, so much. Uh, Colin, you're very, very generous. Uh, it seems a little too much, to be honest, but I, I truly appreciate that. Thank you, Colin. So there we go, we have that. We have Rob Arnold, AZ Rail, Daniel Taylor, twice, Lee Kerwin, twice, Jack Clark, Daniel Taylor again, Logan R, William Town, Lee... Uh, let's try and get this right this time, shall we? Lie Chaos, Felon, there we go. I think so. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry for butchering your name like that. Uh, you're not the only one to have your name butchered by me, and you certainly won't be the last. Harry Chapman, Trainfan95, Phil Jackson, Connolly500, The Fox. Nice to have The Fox. I love that picture of The Fox as well. Foxes are quite cool. Dancing Turtle 96 Michael and John Kelly, Deku, and say, 
NZC. <laughs> Michael Whaley, Pirate012, The Ugly Duckman, and Charles Curtis. So thank you all so, so much. And Colin Wikes as well, who have just popped through. Uh, thank you all once again. You are all entered for the lovely Drummond 700 class, which I get mixed up with the T9 with some, for some reason. Uh, but I guess they are quite similar, aren't they? So yes, good luck to you all with that. And uh, for now then, let's get on to some more requests. So first of all, we have on the outside line, we have Shining Time 4's request. Uh, this is from last time, in fact. He wanted to see the Class 52 Western with a 4MP, uh, 4MT, rather. <laughs> Not 4MPs banking. It certainly wouldn't get anywhere then, would it? Um, with a passenger train. So, as you can see, I have set that up. Then on the middle line, we have quite a worrisome um, banking train here. So, we have... It was, this is one of my engineer's requests. So this was the Duke of Rawson who wanted to see the Dean Goods with a 57XX pannier tank banking. Although of course my Dean Goods engine, let me point it out for you, that is this one. It is a very, very slow engine and the pannier tank at the back is not. So what we might get is the pannier tank shoving this train up behind it and uh, causing derailments. Fingers crossed that won't happen, but I expect it probably will. And then finally, Keith Wilmot wanted to see the London Transport Pannier Tank with a selection of coaches, and I have certainly done that as well. So, start that first. Um, I think the Helgen Class 52 and the Standard 4 should be reasonably similar in speed, but uh, I'm sure the derailments are coming, let's put it that way. And there we go, that is the one I'm worried about, so I'll tell you what, we'll follow that, shall we? And see if we can't uh, catch it derailing, if it's going to do it. Right, let's see. Run a Great Western Pannier locomotive, says Reacher Holt. Well, you're in luck, because there's one going right now. <laughs> you're the best YouTube or ever, says Foxy Squad. Oh, I don't think that's very true, Foxy. But uh, I appreciate you saying so. That's very really kind of you. Thank you. Hi, just joined, says Sam's Trains Recap. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's lovely to see you again. Uh-oh, that's bad. Well, actually, it's not going too bad, the Eben NG. I'm pretty pleased with... Oh, this camera's looking a bit wonky. Blimey, it must be coming off its uh, perch there. Let's hope it doesn't drop off and derail an engine. Hopefully not. Um, chat issues, says Harry Todd Hunter. I don't, I don't know, is there chat issues? I'd like to see Backman Emily running with Annie and Clarabelle. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, if you'd, if you'd like to make a request for that, I could certainly give that a try. Uh, can I have a shout out? Oh, Sam Strange recap. I must be a bit behind. Yes, you, you just had one. Oh, that didn't sound good. I think it might have been that Pullman coach that's just gone by and done that. Thou art a fine YouTube. Uh, oh, sorry, William Town. Thou art a fine tuber of you. <laughs> well, thank you. I guess I, I guess I am a tuber of you. I was trying to remember if Sam had a Backman pannier for a request. I do, but that's uh, that's the only Backman one I've got, unfortunately. Well, I say unfortunately. It's very lovely, isn't it? Okay, let's bring those to a halt then. There we are. There we go. And, oh, just waiting for the last one. I tell you what, while we're waiting for that, I will uh, whip this pannier off. Uh, there we go, we've got two panniers in that session. And I didn't plan it that way, it just happened to come through. Uh, so I'm taking them off. There's a special reason, because there's something very unusual that I want to show you. Extremely unusual. Um, so yes, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this. Uh, I'm just waiting for the Helgen and, well, the 52 Western and the standard four. And by the way, it, can we just take a moment to appreciate how well that went? Not a single derailment. This Helgen Western actually has been known to be going along just fine. And uh, I turned my back for a second and it's on its side and the, all the coaches have come off. But not today. So thank you so much, Mr. Weston, for not doing that today. And uh, yeah, you have to remember to lift that one from the underside because otherwise it, uh, the body comes off and clatters onto the ground. But uh, I've, I've, I've had my little rant about that already, so <laughs> I'm going to try not to mention it every time I, I run the engine, but I can't make any promises. So there we go. Those are out the way, ready for the next requests. But uh, there is something that's going to come just before those, which I think you might enjoy. So, yes, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, very unusual. It is related to the kit that I promised I was going to build. Mm. No more about that right now. Although, depending on what's next. Well, yeah, it will be. It will be right now. Okay, so I've got some letters and things. Thank you to everyone that has sent letters and things to my PO box. I've got some of them just here. So, oops, ooh, don't want to show anyone's address. So this first one, if I hide the address, 
has got some stamps on it that I don't recognise, and that's because it came all the way from Kentucky. So I'm going to get this open and uh, just give it a quick read. Um, if I don't read all of them, uh, well, I'm going to read them all, but if I don't read all of the letters, uh, don't worry about it. It's only I will be reading them properly. It's just, obviously, there's a lot to do on the stream. So this is from Hunter. He's a regular watching my content. He says, I regularly look up your channel and eagerly await new video, each new video. You are the reason I am saving up for my first train set. I just wanted to say thank you for making videos I, I actually like, from Thomas and Friends in real life, um, to the video I've watched most recently. The BR Blue Princess Royal. Oh, wow, yes, that is an absolutely lovely, um, a lovely engine. Okay, so he's got some questions for me. So first, what are my top five models of all time? Oh, I tell you what, I will answer that in a video. I need to do another top five or top ten models in a video, so I will answer that for you when I do that. Second, why did you start your model railway? Uh, that's one I might have answered before, but that's all down to TARDIS Rescue. Uh, check out TARDIS Rescue's YouTube channel. We were at school together and he showed me his trains for the first time and that sort of got me hooked and it was just as simple as that really. Do you have any tips for me? Um, well, if you've got any specific ad uh, advice you'd like to ask, um, then certainly I can, I can try and give you some help. If not, check out my video on getting started with model railways and the hobby, uh, that might help you. Fourth, do you have any extra track or are you using them as spares for your in-use track? Uh, yes, generally I'm keeping it as spares, but uh, check eBay, there are some cheap tracks going if you want to if you want to get some. Mion, thank you so much. He says, I enjoyed your model train locomotive reviews. Thank you very much, me. Uh, I'm really glad you enjoyed them. And uh, yes, uh, you are now entered to the competition as well. Uh, there was a little bit more. Oh, okay. There is a drawing of his. I want you to have it's a J50, as you can tell. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's on proper paper as well. Proper. Oh, my word. Right, you're going to have to get a close up of this. So, this is quite a serious drawing, actually, if I can show you that. Yeah, all of the rivets are on there and everything, and the perspective is pretty clever as well. So yeah, that is really, really well done. In fact, if you don't mind, I think I'll put that up on the Wall of Fame, because that really is a stunning drawing. Look at that. It's very, very difficult to draw with sort of perspective like that, isn't it? Very, very difficult. So yes, you are a professor at the J50 drawings. That's really, really good. So Hunter, thank you very much for that, and uh, I will, I think, put that J50 up on the wall because that is awesome. Okay, so here we have another one. This one looks like it's from the UK because it's got a, a British stamp on it. So let's have a quick look at this one. All right, so what's this? Uh, the Loco Shed, check them out. <laughs> Must be a model shop, I think. Yes, a model shop even. All right, so dear Sam Strains, first things first, thank you so much for the amazing content and the variety of items you show. You're a great inspiration to many of us. I don't think that's true, come on. And you're brilliant at persuading me to buy certain items. Oh, I guess I should uh, apologise for that then. Uh, however, me and probably other people uh, would really pre appreciate it if you reviewed more peculiar locomotives, such as the WD Sentinel, uh, Janus, Metropolitan Electric and so on. Yes, I agree, I do love the unusual locos. And also, an idea for getting through more requests would be during, doing them during reviews or running sessions. Yes, that is true. I might have to start doing that if I get too many. And he's also got an idea for 50,000 subs would be remaking your very first video as a sort of now and then special. That's very, very cool. Yeah, I, I might try and do that. Uh, so there we go. That was from Jack, the Class 35. Um, could you also give the shop a shout out? Yes, I did do, yes. And he's also sent this picture as well, which I assume must be for the Wall of Fame. So yes, I will put that up. Oh yes, it says on the back. Sorry if it isn't the best quality. It looks perfect quality to me. It's a Class 47, looks like. And there it is. Very nice. So yes, Jack, thanks for that. I will certainly put that up on the wall for you. And once again, thank you for the letter. Now, here's the one that's very interesting. So this is from, I'm not sure where it's from, but there are some interesting things inside. So here we go. So it says, Dear Sam, thank you for doing a video on my kits. So there are some kits inside here. Me and my best friend have been creating buildings and I now have made these two. I hope you like them. From Seth, age 11. Uh, P.S. My name is not Kenneth. It just has my dad's name on the email address. Okay. So basically, I got an email from Seth saying that he had designed some loco bodies with a difference. Now, he said... Now, I think roughly what he said was, 
we make buildings out of paper, so why not make locomotive bodies out of paper? Now this is where everybody groans and says, oh no, and I must admit I did as well, but it is a lot better than you might think. So, here's one of them. We have what looks like a diesel, so that would make a little shunter. I think these are designed to fit onto the Hornby 040 chassis. It's a very good idea. That's a similar sort of thing with a green body on it there, with a green colour scheme. And then he's also got instructions on how to cut them out. Now, I just, you know, I, I just thought, hmm, it's an interesting idea. But what has really impressed me is actually I've built one of these. Uh, I've taken one. It's a sort of J70 design, which is Toby, in case you didn't know. And I thought I would build one and show it for the stream. So I have built it, and I must say how impressive it was. All of the measurements were absolutely perfect. It went together absolutely wonderfully, and it slots. You wouldn't believe how perfectly it fits onto a Hornby 040 chass chassis. You really wouldn't believe how well it fits. So, Seth, I think you've got um, yeah, some sort of uh, design career ahead of you because uh, that was truly impressive stuff. So, it's hidden in plain sight. You may have spotted this on the turntable a little earlier. You might not have done. But I did build Seth's model and I had quite a lot of fun building it too. And from any sort of distance, it does look like a sort of veritable... J J70. So here it comes. Yep, hopefully that's coming all right. And uh, I thought I would just give it a couple of laps just so that you can see it. So obviously, you know, it's a pretty basic model. It's not like a, a Rapido J70 with super detail or anything like that. But from any sort of distance, it looks absolutely grand. So with that, let's send it off. And it's actually got my Santa's Express 040 chassis underneath it. So that's uh, that's that but yeah let me know folks what do you think to this bullman says mdh games well spotted could hornby edward pull all of the ocean wagons with hornby bill as a back engine i'm not sure they'd manage that to be honest because they're both quite uh, weak engines really ocean man says Har harry todd hunter <laughs> So what do you reckon to this J, uh, J70 then, or almost said J50? It's uh, quite an odd looking machine, doesn't, isn't it? But uh, yeah, not too bad. De hell, says Defiant Shackleton. <laughs> yes, it is certainly quite an unusual one, that's for sure. Um, however, I think for the unusualness, or I don't really know what the right word is there, but for the, yeah, the unconventional idea, I have to give this full mark, so you're going to see it prop quite well in this shot. So there we go, look at how well it all fits together, and bear in mind that I'm a bit rubbish when it comes to building models, so I might not have done the best job assembling the thing. But uh, if you want a budget um, J70, let me know, and I will put you in touch with Seth, and he might be able to supply one for you. So there we go, Seth, very, very good, well done, and I will build the rest of them too, I think, and I will try them out, and if they're just as good as that, I might uh, even show them on a future stream. But uh, for now, I'm just going to... Stick that back into its siding, like that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, put it to bed for the time being. Okay, so now let's do some Wall of Fame stuff then, because a lot of people have actually sent some uh, Wall of Fame things. Uh, first of all, though, obviously, if you want to send something to my PO box, if you've got a drawing or a letter or something you'd like to say, I will put the address up. There we go, and I pointed the right way that time. So, yeah, any letters, any notes, any pictures for the Wall of Fame, just drop them to my PO box like that, and uh, I will show them next stream. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a whistle-stop tour this time with the uh, Wall of Fame stuff, because we've still got requests to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's do it. So this one's awesome. Zen and Striker sent in this. A beautifully drawn steam loco there. Very, very well done. It says Union Pacific uh, Indran, I think it says. I can't quite make out what the name says on there, but uh, it looks very, very nice. It might even be an original design by Xen and Stryker. That's very cool. Wayborn Junction sent that in. A couple of lovely modern image diesels there, or possibly even electrics. I'm going to say diesels, although I could be wrong. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you for those. They look fantastic, and I'd love to see more of your layout at some point. Anthony, you might know Anthony from Anthony Railways B, his YouTube channel. Absolutely gorgeous. What's that? Uh, it looks like... Ooh... Is it a J36 or J15? I'm not absolutely sure. It's, it's sometimes difficult to tell, isn't it, when they're in these sort of uh, BR black liveries, but absolutely wonderful. And Anthony's railway is looking great. Alfie M sent in this. I think this is the start of his track, as you can see. So that's a promising layout in the making from Alfie. So well done there. Alex P sent in this. He says Alex P, but it's obviously not the P. It's the Barclay. So there you go. The Andrew Barclay looking wonderful on his layout. And you get a fantastic sense of the scale with that uh, shed that's on there. 
There we go. <laughs> if I use the right finger to point. So that's brilliant. Thank you for that, Alex. Now, here's a very creative uh, photo from Daniel W here. Uh, and as you can see, it just uh, captures the sort of grim, stormy bleakness of the uh, steam era, as it really was, I suppose, and uh, not so much the romantic way in which we remember it, but that's very, very cool. So a wonderful photo there. Uh, so that's going to take pride of place on the Wall of Fame. Then we have Callum D with his collection of, I guess, LNER Pacifics, and that is absolutely wonderful. I just love seeing that. And uh, what a collection of Pacifics that is as well. And uh, another LNER Pacific from Iran, or uh, what, how would we pronounce that? Try and get this right. I, Iran? Iran? <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Once again, that's the, at least the second name that I've managed to butcher today. Franco R there, that's a, a loco that I don't recognise, and that might sound like a bad thing, but it's not actually. I love seeing locos that I've never seen before. So Franco, that's brilliant. Thank you for that. Jack C sent in this. Now, you're not going to be able to read what this says, so that's what it looks like. Okay. We got that and it says this mast the last of 1700 on the cross city line electrification project was planted on thursday the 16th of january 1992 by the earl of lichfield so that's quite a quite a monumental place really train fan 28 thank you very very much for the donation and you are entered into the competition as as is everybody else uh, James D sent in this. This is his uh, Thomas and Friends engines on the roundhouse. Let's get rid of this. Uh, James D has been showing me lots of his videos, so check out James Dunlop Trains if you want to see some of his videos. He's done great reviews on some of the Thomas and Friends range. Uh, Lewis sent in this. That is obviously the Hatton's P class, looking very, very lovely there. Uh, so thank you, Lewis, for sending in that. SECR Green, definitely my favourite. Joseph TG, T, TG, I think it was. <laughs> I've turned that one away before I had a chance to read it. Lovely Diesel on his layout there, which is looking really, really cool. Uh, what's the class? Can't quite tell. Is it a class 33? Might be wrong. Someone will tell me, I'm sure. So there we go. And then Mason D or Mason O had this. This is quite a, a monstrous looking layout. I bet that must be from his club or something. So that's very, very cool. Uh, then we have Oliver T who sent in this. Now I do recognise that one. That's a schools class, isn't it? Absolutely love schools class locos. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that, Oliver. That's going to take pride of place once again on the wall. I like this one. This one's quite creative from Rowan. It's a, a loco in front of a map. Also, it's almost a bit like in those films, Indiana Jones, where you see a train or a plane, I guess, uh, flying over a map. That's what it reminded me of. So that was great. Well done for that, Rowan. And then Sean F sent in this. This is another Thomas and Friends custom. There you go. Quiz question. What character is that? I'm going to ask because I don't actually know, I'm ashamed to say, but it looks fantastic. It looks like a really brilliant job, that. Okay, very nice. So... Shall we have a look then at some more requests? Let's see what else I've got to do today um, because uh, I seriously need to get started on those, don't I? What's everybody saying? Spencer McKibben says, hey. Finally, I get to watch as Piggy Nice 18. Oh, is, was it you that had to do the nasty chore? I can't remember. Anyway, let's have a look. So, Shining Time 4 was the first, I think. Yes, I think he was. And I've written that down with his Atlantics, okay? And then let's have a look at the next one. So was it Jack? Yep, Jack wanted to see, it was Jack Clark, wanted to see the class 50, 50 plus the Deltic uh, with the BR Blue coaches. Yep, I should remember what that was, I think. Uh, very good, thank you for that, Jack. Uh, but, 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 but. Okay, and then it was Harry Chapman. Harry Chapman with the 8F, plus, ooh, this is a nice idea, plus 7F, double head in a freight train. Yes, obviously they're going to want freight. Uh, my, my Hornby 8F is DCC fitted, which might cause a bit of a problem, um, but hopefully I'm, I might be able to coax the, uh, the Ren 8F out for a bit of a run. So let's have a look. Um, right, so what we'll do is we will do the 8F and the 7F on this particular train here, because we've got some goods out already. So I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll swap the brake van onto the opposite end of the train, <laughs> which is a bit uh, odd, isn't it? I don't suppose you'd ever have that sort of thing happening in real life, at least not with a giant hand coming out of nowhere and plucking it off the track. But uh, I suppose if they had a, a turnaround or something, that might work. Uh, okay. Oh, is this going to be a good idea, though? Because that this Ren 8F <laughs> is a quite the big beast, and I really don't want the, uh, the weak little... Backman 7F to have to haul this along. 
Um, I am not sure, I have to say, what is going to happen with this. In fact, what I might try and do is get these wagons onto the inside line first because this 7F, well, sorry, this 8F really doesn't like tight curves. Oops, wrong control. Uh, so I'm going to, whoa, we've got Bullman mooing. Thank you very much, whoever that was. I will just make this small shunting operation and then I will take a look and find out. Uh, okay, Mr. 8F, please don't derail the wagons or indeed yourself. Okay, no, you completely ignored me there, as these engines always do. I don't know why I expect any different. No, okay, I think the wagons were okay, so that's something, isn't it? Uh, let's back that up then. Nope, wrong control. <laughs> it's the heat, it's the heat, I promise. I'm not just an idiot, I promise. Okay, so, where are you, Mr. 7F? That's going to be the next part, the next big question. Um, I think it's actually over here, isn't it? I suppose I would call for him, but uh, I never seem to answer, which is always a bit unfortunate. Okay, well, I apologise in advance for this 7F, but you might have a bit of a rough time here, but we will see. Oh, let's see if we can actually get them to couple, that would be nice. Uh, right, well, that's sort of coupled. Let's see if it works. Ah. Uh, yeah, can't do that. <laughs> Here's why. Are you ready? Somebody, whoa, and I mean me, <laughs> has wired the uh, Ren 8F backwards. <laughs> so that would definitely kill the uh, s and r 7 f It would certainly kill it. So I'm going to have to do the next, well, the least worst thing and try the Hornby one. Uh, even though it's DCC fitted, so it's going to go pretty fast, I reckon, on DC. Although, thinking about it, I wonder whether I de-chipped it in the end. I, it might be that I took the decoder out in the end. And if I did, I would like to go back in time and give myself a kiss, if that isn't creepy. Uh, because Well, it is, actually. Uh, because that might actually save me a lot of problems. So, 7F, you go to the back, you're going to need to. And uh, let's see what self-destruction we can cause by putting this DCC logo on the front of this trail. I know better than to do this, by the way, <laughs> but uh, it's all good fun. Okay, what is going to happen now? Well, they're going in the same direction, which is one thing. Oh, I was expecting it to explode in smoke and flames, but it didn't. So that's something. Okay, so... Then we have Shining Time 4, who wanted to see the two Atlantics, so let's do that. Ooh, this is going to be nice. I can't wait to do this. Okay, C1 first then. Oh, I'm going to have to be very careful with these, because they cost an insane amount of money. Right, so there is the C1. Absolutely love this. Okay. C1 and the H1, I'm going to really watch where I put my feet because if I stomped on both the H1 and the C1 at the same time, I think I would not be a happy chappy. Let's put it that way. Right, here we go. <laughs> this has never been done before on my channel or on my railway. Actually, I've never, I should have thought to do this, but I haven't. Okay, do they work together? Oh, yes. Wow, actually, there's going to be a lot of power there, you know, because they're both really heavy engines. Okay, so some red and cream coaches. Let's go and get some of those. Excuse me, camera. Okay, how many shall we do? I'll tell you what, let's do five, because <laughs> that's all I've got. So, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, these beams make it difficult when there's lots of uh, equipment and things set up, but that's okay. Oh, right then. So, the blood and custard coaches are here. Here they are. Okay, so a break at the back. This is going to be quite a luxurious train, isn't it? Although, of course, if this train really did exist in real life, which of course it can't, I wouldn't want to be on it. I'd want to be off it watching, well, watching the two Atlantics, obviously. Um, but I suppose I'd take a ride once I'd had a chance to admire it. What do you reckon? Okay. Oche. Okay. So there we go. Oops, go on, couple. 
Oh yes, I forgot actually, I do need to go and thank whoever that was a minute ago. Uh, thank you whoever that was, uh, that was Logan R, thank you very much for that. You got Bill, I got Ben somewhere. If I travel to the UK in the foreseeable future, maybe we could do a meetup and have a little twin running session. Oh, that would be nice. One from America. Is it, uh, yeah, is it America? <laughs> and one from England. What a meeting that would be. And the person I missed was Sir AJ Finley Jr., who I missed. So thank you very much to you, AJ, and also TrainFan28. I think, I believe I might have missed you as well. But uh, yes, thank you very, very much for those. Okay. Right. Let's take a look then, shall we? Hmm. What was the third train? <laughs> Let's read this up. Oh yes, so it was Jack Clark who wanted to see the Class 50 and the Deltic. So let me do that. Now last time I was requested to run diesels, I believe I got them wrong. I, uh, I ended up running a, a baby warship, I think it was, instead of a high mech. Something very silly like that, so yeah, I need not to do that. Um, right, so it was the Deltic, I think that's the Deltic. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that's the Deltic. And the other is going to be a bit of a job to find. Um, hmm, let's have a look. Well, I've got the uh, the Deltic. I'll put that in view so that you can just confirm that it is the Deltic, just in case I've gone mad, but I'm pretty sure it is. And then I think Rodney is probably over here. Rodney's the Class 50, by the way. Uh, I think he's probably buried in one of these shelves, which is always a bit difficult. Just excuse me a moment. I hope you can't see my backside while I'm looking in here, by the way. I hope not. Okay, I found him, I found him. Panic over. Here we are. Come on, Rod Rodney, you've been asked for. Right. Just shut this drawer. There we go. Okay, Mr. Rodney. So there's Rodney. I'll just grab some of the uh, the requested coaches as well. There we go. Let's do the, uh, the nominal four coaches, shall we? <laughs> as I say, it's just enough to look like a half-decent train, but... Uh, not so much that it's going to take me hours to get it on and off. Okay, so let's try and get the 280s back out of the way. There we are. Okay, that should be enough. And now I can put these coaches on. Uh, so let's put them on this way, shall we? Being very careful this time not to knock the Atlantic's train at all. That would not be a good thing to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm, luckily I'm not actually messing around near the Atlantic, so should be okay. Should be, should be. Okay, so there we are, that's coach number four, coach the fourth, and we'll put the class 50 on first, I reckon, and we'll have the uh, the Deltic in the front, because the Deltic is the king of diesels, isn't it? Well, I'm sure many would think so. <laughs> Probably ought to be careful before I say that sort of thing, in case it offends anybody that likes other diesels. All right. Well, there's a lot of vibrating, actually. I don't know if you can tell, but the floor seems to be rattling because of that. <laughs> a lot of power there, and also a lot of power from the Atlantics. There they go. And let's hope nothing goes wrong with the uh, with the two, well, 280 double headers. Uh, I have a lot of trepidation for that. I'm hoping it's going to work all right. Ah, justified. No, are we going? Are we good? I think we are. Right. Oop, just missed the Atlantics. Not to worry. There they are. Wow. They are looking fantastic together. And of course, they could manage an awful lot more coaches than that if they, well, if, they, if, I, if I asked them to. But I'm being very careful about the number of coaches I ask them to pull because I really don't want them burning out. That would not be good. I definitely don't want that. In fact, I'm dreading the day when it comes that I've got to service them because... Yes, it's going to be quite the difficult thing to do. Well, it's probably not going to be difficult, but I'll just be scared to death of causing damage. And we seem to have another stoppage from the uh, from the 280s. Let me just set this to the... You see, because that Hornby 8F seems to have cut out a couple of times, and I don't want the uh, 7F to end up uh, struggling. Come on. <laughs> yeah. That Hornby 8F does not like this. <laughs> right, we're going to have to stop that, I think. Just bear with me. I don't know, I can't tell whether it's actually a fault with the 8F or just because it's on DCC and it doesn't like the fact that the 7F is coupled to it. But I think what we might have to do, folks, is uh, give it up as a bit of a bad job. Well, I'll tell you what, the diesels don't look very happy. <laughs> Sounds like one of them's given up, actually. Yeah. 
<sighs> maybe this is the part of the stream where it all goes wrong. Hang on. So first things first, I'm going to try and take the 8F off the track. So let me do that. You horrible 8F causing problems like this. Right, that's that off. There we go. Okay, so hopefully we can have all systems go for the 7F. I'll tell you what though, I'm glad it isn't the... Uh, I'm glad it isn't the Atlantics that have caused problems. I am very glad indeed. Right. Are we okay, 7F? I think so. Right. Let's find out what's gone wrong. Oh, okay. I think the Deltic may have derailed, which is not very good. I think the Class 50 must be a bit too much for it. There we go. Nothing seriously wrong. Well, I don't know what caused the derailment, so maybe there's something seriously wrong. I don't know. But hopefully not, hopefully not. I gotta go. Bye everyone, says Dylan Duck. Bye bye Dylan. I think it's you, Duckman. <laughs> when did I saw one of the diesels? Yes, Bennett, you did see one of them derail. Yes, you're right. Uh, unfortunately, it went... Uh, well, can't really say what I want to say. But it went something up. That's what it did. <sighs> oh well. All is well. In fact, I think I'm going to stop these now. Quit while I'm ahead. We'll have one more lap with the lovely Atlantics. <sighs> Thank goodness they behave themselves. Right, let's watch these diesels again. Will they derail this time? I hadn't actually noticed that they'd derailed, but they certainly had. Yes. Not very pleased with that, but uh, at least it's all better now. There we are. Right, well, thank you very much, folks, for those. They were great requests, as they always seem to be. So there we are. Thank you, Jack, for that one. I know you like your diesels, so yes, it's a pleasure to do that for you. Uh, I think what we'll do is, yeah, we'll take those off. <laughs> I don't think we'll need those. I might leave the, the intercity coaches on just in case I can run those with another request and then we can get more in. But if not, they'll have to come off as well. We'll have to see. And hopefully the lovely Atlantics will be coming in. And I will leave those on the track because, uh, well, they're very popular today and somebody else has requested them. So there's that. And let's see if the uh, good old 7F has managed the train all by itself. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yes, it has. And the motor doesn't seem to be smoking or smelling of burning, so maybe we got away with that. But uh, yes, Mr. Mr. 8F there wasn't very happy. I ought to de-chip him, really. He's not that great for, for um, DCC. Not particularly, but uh, you never know. There might be, it might be okay. Okay, so... Let me do the promise section then where I talk about Wish.com once again. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I know it sounds like it. But uh, last time I looked at some ludicrous figures which were free. Today's item was not free. It actually cost me £4, which is still quite cheap because there are 20 trees inside here. 20 trees. Let me read what this says. Uh, oh, it doesn't say anything. Just made in China, as you might expect. So... I thought 20 trees for four pounds. What can that possibly be like? Well, I thought they wouldn't possibly be good, that's for sure. So, they're all different sizes, which I thought was quite good. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look at one of the small ones. Yeah, actually, I mean, maybe from this distance, they look all right, don't they? That isn't too bad. If I show you up close, you might start to see some of the cracks. There we are. Well, it's not terrible, is it? I mean, it's got like proper lighting on it. Let me angle this down what do you reckon yes or no for the trees are they any good let's have a look so there we go that's one of them i'm not going to get them all out because they're a bit dropping bits everywhere let's see if we can get a bit of a, a larger one here's a bigger one so as i say there there oh there's green stuff everywhere i'm gonna have to back this up go back in the bag <laughs> i can't believe i'm actually doing this showing you nasty trees online actually they're not that nasty they've got full branches in them look i mean obviously you can get them you can get better trees than this, obviously, but probably not cheaper ones. And they're certainly not that sort of stick with green fuzz on the top that you sometimes get. So, yeah, I don't mind. Right, so we've got some no's. Clockhouse Railway says no. Ellen Brooks says yes. Ronan's Railway says yes. Kid Prime says yes. Ian Gunson, right. Gornal Junction, brilliant. So, 20 of these for £4. That isn't too bad. That's 10 for £2. 5 for a pound. That isn't bad. There's another one. I'm not going to get all 20 out, safe to say. Oh, there's a tiny one. How very sweet. And there was a whole different range of uh, choices as well, different sizes. Look at that one. Very, very small. And I haven't even looked at the largest yet. Uh, oh, I could get it out, though. It's near the top. 
One more treat, and I promise I won't show you any more. Right. Come on. Oh, there's two coming. It's a Siamese tree. Oh, these are a bit squashed. Oh, this is going to be a dreadful mess. This is awful. This is doing my OCD right in. So there we go. They're, they look great, actually. I'm not going to lie. They look absolutely fine, don't they? A uh, bit of a moulding issue at the bottom of that one. But uh, yeah, for four quid, what do you reckon? I might even put them on the layout. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, they're dropping gubbins all over me. Oh, that's dreadful. If, you're, if you don't like mess, well, it's not that I don't like mess. It's just that I have to keep this room very, very clean. Otherwise, running on the carpet, you know, the trains get messed up. So, yes, that is not a nice thing to have to clean up. But uh, for four quid, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, Tremendous, in fact, says the Ugly Duck Man. Sam's trees. Yes, I'm going to have to do that. Is he going to keep lumbering along with this? Uh, see what he did there, Phil? Uh, yeah, I. to be honest, I mean, they're not absolutely amazing but uh, I don't think anyone would expect them to be really uh, right where am I going to go and shake this I'm just going to go and shake off my trousers somewhere outside the loft so that I don't uh, cover my lovely brand new Atlantic in uh, bits of green tree guff <laughs> right so there we go that's just a little thing and I thought I would do a bit of a, a wish.com feature every stream uh, where I find some tat basically on wish.com and uh, yeah, just see what it's like. Sometimes it's going to be good, I reckon, because uh, some really cheap Chinese stuff turns out to be great. But as with the figures last time, it turned out to be an absolute joke, more or less. So I think we're going to win some and I think we're going to lose some on that. But uh, it should be interesting, so we'll do that. Right. So let's do some more of these requests then, shall we? So what did I do last? Um, oh, I've done all these. <laughs> so June 23rd, that's where we need. So... Oh, what was that? I've just missed somebody. Uh, Mion, thank you very much. Uh, that small tree you got is very cute. Yeah, I thought it was. I actually, I didn't spot in the package that there was such a tiny one as that. That's really cool. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put them on the on the layout, I think. Um, although they haven't got bases, so I will have to try and find a way to make them stand up. But um, yeah, it, it will be interesting. So anyway, so train fan. Ninety five wanted to see the Deltic. So I can put the Deltic back on. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, so, Connolly the Fox. Fox wanted to see the Deltics plus... No, not the Deltics. The Atlantics plus the N7 plus a really long freight train. So I might not be able to do a really long one, but I can certainly do that. And then Dancing Turtle 96. 96. Uh, Thomas with open wagons. Yes, that's a good idea, actually. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to try and see exactly how many o uh, open wagons, not ocean wagons, um, Thomas can manage. Hopefully, you will be managing quite a few. Okay, so the Deltic can go back on. There we go. Let's pop that on there. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll couple it up to the train, and we'll get it out of the way. So, oh, no, wrong controller again. <sighs> how stupid can you be? Very, is the answer. Okay couple and take it away Mr. Deltic take it away all right good okay blimey this is going this so this is the part folks where my controller explodes all over the place <laughs> this will be fun I'm sure it will right so let's take off these blood and custard coaches I think they can get out of the way and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Toby the tram or the the brand new J70 slash Santa's Express slash cardboard train and uh, I'm going to pop, well put, not pop, I don't know what's happening to my uh, voice at the moment. Um, again, I'll, I'll try and blame the heat, but uh, you can just blame a silly brain if that's what you want to do. Uh, so there we go. Oh, and I can try and show you a close-up of the uh, of the J70. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put it up on my, uh, yeah, I'll put it up on the shelf where the close-up camera is. And uh, I will let you have a little look at that. There we go. So it's a little basic thing, <laughs> it's uh, got a number on it and everything, but other than that, yeah, it looks cool. It's not a bad little machine, is it, that? and uh, it looked alright running along, I thought, as well. Right, so, the ocean wagons, first of all, there we are. I reckon Bullman's going to get a Bullman sandwich this time. If I don't take him off and I put some more wagons on behind him, he's going to, he's going to be in quite the claustrophobic situation, isn't he, I reckon? Well, Bullman, let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't think Bullman's ever done this before, has he? 
Oh, who was that? Thank you for the, my uh, whistle. <laughs> Let's see. It was Connolly 500, the fox. Oh my word. Thank you so much, Connolly. That's very kind of you. I have too much money on my Apple account. I think that's true. I don't have a use for, so here you go. Oh, thank you so, so much. That really is very, very kind of you. And yes, I have heard quite a lot about Lionel trains. In fact, I've heard that they made a Polar Express in HO gauge. And I, uh, yeah, I've been very tempted to try and find one. Uh, I've not found any, unfortunately, so far in the UK, but uh, it doesn't mean I won't. So hopefully I will do one day. Uh, but yeah, seriously, thank you very much for that. That was very, very kind of you. Okay, Mr. N7. I don't know why I'm calling everybody Mr. today. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? I apologize if that's annoyed you. Right, how are they gonna run? Reasonable? Quite reasonable, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so that's two of three sorted, and the last one was Thomas. Oh, good. So he wanted wagons. Here's quite a lot of wagons. now. Yeah, it's not a lot of wagons by normal standards, I suppose, but uh, in terms of a little light Backman 060 standards, I reckon that is quite a lot. So, in the chat, what do you reckon? Will Thomas manage, or will he break down and need Rocky the breakdown crane to come and fix him? I'm not sure. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's see. On the plus side, they are quite modern wagons, so it might be that we get away with that, but you don't know until the fat lady sings. Don't know who the fat lady is in this in this situation. Emily? I don't know. It's pro probably a bit offensive, isn't it? That? Oh well. Right. Please don't explode, controller. Please. <sighs> Hopefully not. Right. Where is Thomas? Well, he's not visible. Where is he? That's the question. Hello. Oh, there he is. That means he's made it. Then he's up the he's up the top half of the layout. Ah, you're just a stick in the mud. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah, I've been talking a bit like that today, haven't I? Oh, there's Bullman. How are you, Bullman? Bullman sandwich. Anybody like beef sandwiches? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, not that fussed, to be honest. <laughs> there we go. And there's the Deltic too. Very nice. Going at a bit of a better speed now, isn't it? I'm stumped for puns now. Oh, we've been having a pun fest in the chat. Oh, I, I have the very unpleasant duty to announce that I've missed all of that. But I'm sure I'll thoroughly enjoy seeing it all later on. I'm sure I certainly will. Wow, a rip-off, says Ellen Brooks. <laughs> what? The fat lady would be Mrs. Topham Hat, wouldn't it? It would indeed. That is very true. Okay. Stop the Deltic. Mr. Deltic. There he goes again, calling the Mr. That's strange. Oh, and he's, he's caused a derailment as well. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh. Something's happened, folks. <laughs> right. So, let me try and show you this. So, not only has the Deltic come off the track and crashed into some wagons, but Thomas is not attached to the wagons, and he's nowhere near. So, <laughs> has Thomas gotten fed up of the wagons? Has Thomas actively disobeyed me? I think he might have done. That is bizarre. Where has he gone, then? Right, did anybody see where Thomas went? That is the question. We're going to have to go on a Thomas hunt now. We're going to catch a big one. <laughs> well, I'm not scared, that's for sure. Right, well, let me put the wagons back on, because I can't be doing with derailed wagons. Right. So, Thomas. I mean, he's not connected to the back of the train, so it must have only just happened. Right, how's that camera looking? Oh, not very good. Right, let's just cycle through the security footage then, shall we? i.e. look at some of the different cameras. Oh, there he is, Thomas. Got him. Right, Thomas, you're going to the sin bin now. And by that, I mean you're going back to your shelf. How did you manage that? <laughs> I love that, though. He's not got his Annie and Clarabel. He's not got his troublesome trucks. And so he's, he's gone on strike and he's decided to completely get rid of his coaches. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> He's gone to the next dimension, says Matthew B uh, Bacon. You know, he might have probably done that if I'd have given him the chance. Um, blimey, Thomas. <sighs> Don't scare me like that, man. Right, especially when I've got three extremely lovely engines running together on the track. Three extremely slow engines, actually. They, they're not running particularly quick, but that's because it's probably a bit too much current being asked of the controller at the moment. Make sure these points are set. 
Whoa. Well, the requests have gone badly wrong today. <laughs> they really have, haven't they? Right, so with that, shall we have one more try? Let's see if we can rectify the situation and see if we can't actually get some requests that work this time. So I'm just going to go and grab my piece of paper. There we go. And I've got time for just three more. So uh, again, if there are some, I don't know how many more I've got left to do, to be honest. So if there are more than I've got time for, uh, don't worry. As, as I say, as I've done today, um, first first job next time will be to get them, get them done for you. Uh, okay, so there we go. So, yes, so it was Michael, John, Kelly, who wanted to see the IVAT 2 and 4 with Oceans. So I can give my brand new Oceans a try, that's a really good idea. Um, American triple header with the Ocean of Ocean Wagons, that's going to be tricky, but uh, maybe I can put some on, yeah. Deku NZC, um, American with Ocean I don't think I'm going to be able to put three on, unfortunately, but uh, I might be able to try. Uh, I can, well, I'll see. I'll have a look what I've got. And then Michael Whaley uh, wanted to see the C1 plus the H1 again, so they are super, super popular this time, with the Teaks. Right, well, that's an easy one to start with, so let's give that a try first, shall we? So we just need to take the N7 away. We've got some ocean wagons already set up, so that's all right. Okay. So take the N7 off. I'm going to put, put her somewhere nice and safe because I, I really don't want anything bad to happen to her. And uh, let's pull the Atlantics forwards. There we go. Let's disconnect the ocean wagons. There we are. Oh, we need the, the uh, Atlantics to go a bit further. There we go. Bullman, you're going to have to uh, vacate, if you don't mind. Let me just move these. Uh, this is how shunting works when you haven't got time to use engines. <laughs> It involves a lot of hands and a lot of derailings. Hopefully not too many though. Okay, so flip these ocean wagons onto the inside line, like that. Being very careful not to let them clank into the Atlantics as they go. That would not be good. So there we go, we've got some isolated ocean wagons. I'm now going to take off these wagons as well. Like that. Get those out of the way, very nice. And uh, that's that third line now. Nice and ready for some more ocean wagons. <laughs> this is going to be an awful lot of ocean wagons. Uh, luckily now, I mean, only today have I got enough to be able to do this. So that's going to be cool. Okay, so just three teaks this time. Um, because, uh, yes, I'm running out of time now. But I will do these this final three. And then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll leave the rest for next time. And, uh, yes, think about how I'm going to do them. Hopefully I'll manage some, somehow. Okay. Yeah, the problem is, uh, I think a lot of my American locos uh, don't have front couplings at all, let alone front couplings that, that I'll be able to use. But I will have a look. I'll have a look. So, American locos. Let's see. Well, mm, I was going to see, say Rosie. Ro Rosie, the USA dock tank, is technically a, an American loco. But, yeah. Right, I found, a, I found one participant that might work. So we have the Baltimore and Ohio 440, and that does have a KD coupling on the front. So now all I've got to do is find another with a KD coupling, which uh, I don't know or not whether I have. Um, I've got plenty, oh yeah, and I also need my converter wagon, obviously. <sighs> Silly boy. Um, right, KD couplings, that's what I'm looking for right now. Um, hmm. Yes, that's a little bit of a pain. Hmm. Right, okay, so what I can probably do then is, yeah, I'm probably just going to be able to do two then, um, yeah, two American Locos. In fact, I wonder if that Camelback will be any good. Uh, yes, the Camelback does have a KD, so that can go on the front. <laughs> and then I've just got to find a way to get my ocean wagons coupled. Let's see. I, I am determined to get some American Locos hauling ocean wagons for you. I'm determined. So... Two locos a couple, there we go, two Mahano locos for you. And now I just need to find my converter car, which I should be able to do, hopefully. Right, where is that? Uh, there it is. I made this not long ago, so it's a good job, otherwise I might not have been able to do it. So yeah, sadly, the ocean wagons are poisoned by this uh, bizarre green 
van, but uh, yep, yeah, needs must. Right, can we get the ocean wagons hauled by American engines? Yes, we can, although I think one of the tenders is off. Although, no, no, it seems to have fixed itself. So there we go, that's good. Okay, good. So, just a few more ocean wagons then, and uh, tell you what, we'll have the maiden voyage of the few that I bought from the train fair. So, that's the first three I can sort out. So there we go. Let's see if they run nice and smooth. Yeah, they seem to. So there we go. <laughs> Their first ever run. Ah. And I will grab as many as I can fit into one hand. There we are. Which is, let's see, how many have I managed to get in one hand here? Six. <laughs> That's not a bad number, is it? That's quite good. Just to prove it. There you go. All right. Let's have a look then. So that'll be nine in total. Well, I think that constitutes an ocean. I don't really know exactly how many ocean wagons would constitute an ocean of them, but uh, I suppose nine and then plus the five or so that's on the other line would probably just about do it. I reckon I might have derailed one now, actually. Have I? Oh, no. <laughs> yep, yeah, I had, actually. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> that's that. And what else did I need to run with those? I've gone and forgotten. Uh, oh, yes, it was the IVAC Class 2 and, of course, the IVAC Class 4. So both of the, the lovely IVAC engines. Right, well, I've first got to find out where they are. Right, I've got the IVAC Class 4, and I've spied the Class 2. So if I can get back over here without stamping on anything, I think we'll be good to go on that. So... What do you reckon? Class 4 at the back? Might as well, I've got that one first. So there it goes. And then finally, last but not least, I do love this one actually, really love this one. It is the IVAC Class 2. And uh, I had a quite a few to choose from, but since my Class 4 is Backman, I thought I might as well pick the, uh, the Backman Class 2 as well. So off it goes then. Forwards, if possible. There we go. Oops, I've not put a brake van on there. Quick, Toad. For safety, we must have you. Oh, you won't couple. Oh, yes, you will. There we go. Okay, the American doubleheader. No idea how that's going to go. And the Atlantics once again. Uh, so, the big question is, have the Atlantics overtaken um, Canadian Pacific as the most popular stream loco? Oh, I think maybe they have. Although not to me. Well, I don't know, actually. Maybe I do like them more. <laughs> Maybe I do like the Atlantics more than I like Canadian Pacific. I'm not sure. Oh, my chat has disappeared on, uh, on my iPad. That's not good. Has something gone wrong with the stream, or is it just my iPad that's to blame? Nope, nope, we're okay. <laughs> Can we see Speedy Pete again? Um, if anybody wants to make a request for Speedy Pete... I'm sure he'd be most glad to make an appearance. Um, he does still work. Quite a lot of people were asking whether he's uh, permanently messed up or not. But no, he does still work. And that's, uh, that's very good news, if you ask me. I'm pretty glad. <laughs> what I want to do is a running session with all my crazy engines. That would uh, fill me with joy to be able to do that. Uh, I've got five crazy engines that I've built now. In fact, I can't believe it's been that many. But yeah, there are indeed five of them. <laughs> and... Uh, so yeah, if I get a sixth, I can do a full running session with them, which would be a lot of fun. All right, so there we go. That's one last look at the lovely Atlantics. And lovely they really are. I do love those Atlantics. Um, yeah, I might actually say it officially on stream. I think the C1 Atlantic might be my new favourite loco. I really do. <laughs> Better than all others. Uh, that might change. I might go back to Bullet Pacifics again one day, but... Uh, mm, Maybe this is the end of an era. Maybe. Well, there we go. Man, those Atlantics are tired. And, I, and they're not the only one. I'm feeling pretty uh, shell-shocked. <laughs> because it's not been the easiest one. I mean, the trains seem to know that it's a hot day and that uh, I'm going to get hot and bothered. And to make it really difficult for me, they've, uh, yeah, they've made certain that I've had to dash around and fixed derailments and all that other stuff that's been going on so yes thank you engines i will be uh, having words with you and i might even put some grit in my lubricating pen for the next servicing session so yes all watch out you okay 
Well, that was great, and thank you very much, you folks, for those last requests. Uh, I will just read out the names, just uh, just so that you do get your uh, your proper shout out. So there we go. Look at that. I, I didn't realise that they were all double headers. So there we are, six engines, absolutely lovely. So thank you very much for Michael John Kelly, um, whoever that, who, who asked for the, I didn't write down the, who asked for the American Locos. Um, oh, was it D-E-K-U, -E N-Z-C? Yeah, I think so, Deku, N-Z-C, I think it was you, wasn't it? And then all Michael Whaley, was it? <laughs> I can't read my own writing, Whaley, yes it was. There we go, very nice. Okay, well, there we go. That will just about do it. And what a tiring stream that was. I've got mess absolutely everywhere. Let me show you. Oh, you can. You can just about see it in the background. <laughs> there we go. The spoils of the stream for you over there. Well, I think that is just about it, folks. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed that, and I hope you did as well. Uh, next week, I've got a bit of a, well, a train set to unbox. I'm not going to say anything more about that. And then on Saturday, yes, Saturday, I'm going to be showing some Victorian tank engines. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, thank you all very, very much, all of the Super Chats. I will just go through and thank everybody. And the next stream, for those who actually want to, you know, come and join, is going to be in just two weeks' time on the 7th of July. So same time, same place on the 7th of July. So hopefully you're able to make it, hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to reload this list. And thank you all so much for your support this time. It really has been uh, pretty crazy this time. So, the master list, are you ready? So, we have Shining Time 4, AZ Rail, Daniel Taylor, Lee Kerwin, Jack Clark, Logan R, Daniel Taylor again, William Town, Lekios Felon, getting better at that one, Harry Chapman, uh, Trainfan 95, Phil Jackson, Connolly 500, The Fox, D Dancing Turtle 96, Michael John Kelly, Deku, NZ, say NZ. <sighs> Tell you what, I'm completely losing my ability to speak now. NZC or NZC. Uh, yes, a tricky combination of letters is NZC, NZC. Yeah, it's very, I don't know why. It's uh, tripping my brain up for some reason, that. Uh, I don't know why. Michael Whaley, Pirate 012, The Ugly Duck Man, Charles Curtis, Colin Wikes, Me Un, Trainfan28, Sir NJ, AJ Finley Jr. Logan R, Meon again, Connolly 500, The Fox, and also Mute. I missed this one, I think. Uh, good day, Sam's Trains. Can we see something in Southern Railways Malachite running with SR coaches? Recovering from a surgery currently, but watching your stream is making me feel a little better. Love your videos, dude. Well, thank you so, so much for that, and I'm glad I didn't miss that one. I uh, hope the surgery is uh, going, well, I hope it went all right. I hope you're doing all right, and thank you so much for the support. I, I really appreciate that. And in fact, we will do a special, um, a special mention for you on the beginning of the next stream where I'll, I will uh, do something in SR Malachite Green, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that livery. Uh, so I will certainly do that for you. And there's one more that's just got in at the last minute. Oh, there's Lewis Hughes again, <laughs> donating through Super Chat. Thank you very much, Lewis. And of course, you're all entered for the lovely 700 class, which uh, will be given away on the last stream in August. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. It's been quite the wonderful, wild journey today. Uh, lots and lots of stuff to show, but I hope you've all enjoyed it. So thank you all very much for watching, um, and I will see you next time. All right, cheers, everybody. Let's find the exit button. There we go. See ya. Hey folks, thank you all very, very much for joining me for yet another stream. I hope you enjoyed that one. This series is going to be on all sorts of different Sundays over the summer, so do keep a close eye on my social media and my YouTube channel for the date of the next stream. But for now, thank you all for watching once again. Have a great week, and I will talk to you all very soon. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody.